PHP Runner version 10. Visualize your data. Good day everybody. Corey again here with another PHP Runner tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to visualize your data. In other words, we're going to build a chart. Now this can be done within two minutes in PHP Runner. However, the data in transactional database tables are not ready for visualization simply because it's a list of each and every transaction so it needs to be customized first for visualization today's tutorial is the first in a series where I will show you the power of the query builder we are going to use it to aggregate the data into one dimension ready for visualization so this is what the chart will look like after this tutorial. And in the following three or four tutorials, I'm going to show you how to customize it to look like this. So please subscribe and activate notifications so you can be notified when the next tutorial is available. Thank you very much Xline Soft for this amazing software. Please go and visit the website and obtain your copy if you haven't done so already. As you can see, you can build professional web applications with little or no coding. Okay, first, let's quickly have a look at what the data table looks like. There's a lot of transactions in here. It's just a list of sales per date and there's also an rep ID that we're not going to use in this tutorial but the frequency is definitely one that we're going to only filter out records for today um, let's do that quickly you will see now there's a lot that happens for each and every salesperson's ID as well here so we're going to aggregate this data first quickly so it can be visualized easy within PHP Runner so I normally go and design these group by queries in PHP my admin first so I can get an idea what the data output looks like. You don't have to do it like this. You can go straight to PHP Runner and simply start using the query builder. Now I have done this query already and this is basically what it looks like. I'm going to do the sum of total sales count and the sum of confirmed sales and the sum of credit notices and I'm going to bring in my aggregation date and I'm going to group it by my date as well which will be my dimension, my first dimension there is going to be only one dimension and then sales count greater than zero this is only there because the customer doesn't want to see zeros on his chart and then obviously I'm going to order it by date so it's nicely ordered in on the chart as well so going straight to PHP Runner from here, we're going to select the daily sales table. Don't tick it. I'm just selecting it. And then here on the top, it says create chart. Now I'm going to create that exact same query that I just designed in PHP My Admin right here in the query designer. So what I normally do is I untick everything. So I know I'm going to need the aggregation date. I tick that one. The total sales count. Then I'm going to need the confirmed sales. And I'm going to need the credit notes. And because we're going to do a filter or a where clause on the frequency, I will have to select the frequency as well. First thing I know, I want to sort my data per date. So I'm going to select ascending here on my date column. The frequency, I'm going to do a filter where I only select the record that's equals to today. Total sales count, I want an alias of total sales count. The only reason why I really do this is because I'm going to sum these values. And after the sum, there will be no column heading so the alias apply a new column heading to this so because we want to sum these three columns we're going to have to activate the group by 
functionality of the query designer and you will now see that I have a lot of options here under the group by section for total sales I want to have the sum those are my three sums frequency because it's only a filter I'm gonna untick the output because we don't want the output there and we're gonna unselect the group by that was there now over here I want to add the having so I'm just going to select the same total sales count and I'm going to say having greater than zero and now if you look at the SQL it's exactly what I just built in PHP my admin if you look at the results it's exactly the same now you're going to make sure that you want only want to output that you need to output we don't need the output of those two columns this is what the query looks like and there's your results so from here it's very straightforward if I click next because we said in the beginning we're building a chart it knows to take us to this chart here on the data series you will just have to select your three data series that we already defined in the query the query is going to output these columns total sales count confirmed sales and credit notes and my dimension the date in the label field over there I leave these tick boxes as is they will work in this current case I do set my header my footer and my x-axis labels like I've done already here I'm not going to do any searches for now I will explain that later and that's basically it so if you publish this chart you will see the chart that you already saw in the beginning of this tutorial and uh, just to demonstrate the animation I think it's quite nice and if you hover with your mouse over any of these values you will see some, some pop-up very very nice beautiful chart so the purpose was to try and show you the query builder it's important so you can aggregate the data in a way so this visualization can actually work so thank you very much for watching please subscribe and make sure that you are getting notifications because I'm about to start the tutorials on how to customize this chart to look like you've seen in the example right in the beginning may you have a wonderful day thank you for watching till next time